back to the daily grind and shout out to the full time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. And it's your boy Taco Bell Wani. This is going to be a quick recap of Bellator 197, which took place tonight, Friday, April 13th, I believe. Of course, we have UFC Gaethje versus Poirier tomorrow. Can't wait for that event. But tonight, we had Bellator 197. It was headlined by Michael Chandler versus Brandon Gertz. Originally, um, the Bellator lightweight champion Brent Primus was scheduled to face Michael Chandler in a rematch, but he suffered a knee injury one month out of the fight, and so Brandon Gertz took this fight on one month's notice, but this was a four-fight main card. I'm going to start with the first fight of the night that actually took place, which was a catchweight feature fight between Kimbo Ferguson, Kimbo Slice Jr., Kevin Ferguson Jr., also known as Baby Slice, um, and he fought Devin Brock, a guy that had a successful Bellator debut, looked like he had some pretty solid hands as well as great cardio. Baby Slice came in and got the job done pretty early in this fight, though. Um, he won in the first round via submission. He dropped Devin Brock with the overhand right and then ended up, you know, following it with some ground and pound. Ground and pound ended up taking Devin Brock's back and sinking in the rear naked choke. Um, so big win for Baby Slice via submission, which is super dope to see. He's developing as a, mix, a well rounded mixed martial artist, which, um, you know, everyone knows his father, Kimbo, who transitioned from street fights to being embraced by the mixed martial arts community. He took on the challenge of coming coming over to MMA, fought some fights, you know, had some successes, had some highs, had some lows, fought in the UFC, was one of Bellator's biggest draws, God rest Kimbo's soul, now his uh, son, Baby Kimbo, or Baby Slice, is coming over in his place, and, well, not, I don't want to say in his place, but he's coming over, he's coming up in Bellator, which is where Kimbo uh, left off, so, Big win for Baby Slice via submission. Shows he's got some submission skills in this game, too. I know he's got a lot of eyes on him. You know what I'm saying. But with that being said, he did great tonight. Big first-round submission for Kimbo Jr. Then we move to Logan Storley versus Jaquin Buckley. Logan Storley won this fight um, in what, what a lot of people would say via WrestleFuck. The crowd was booing, you know what I'm saying, when you're a wrestler. And it's not the Khabib-style dominance where you're posturing up and you're smashing face and smashing. And No, no, no. This was kind of like a holding on for dear life sort of thing. Like, flatten him out, take advantage of him. Looked like wrestler versus striker. Yo, yo, yo. I don't want to do that part. Let's just hold it out. Try and, you know, any time the fight was kind of about to be stood up. Um, he would kind of act a little bit to keep the fight active, but Logan Storley got a big win over Jaquin Buckley, who was the younger, more experienced fighter. Logan Storley remained undefeated in this fight, using his grappling to dominate the fight via unanimous decision. He, he now moves to 8-0, and Jaquin Buckley, I believe, moves to 8-2, if I'm not mistaken. Logan Storley came in, the crowd was booing, but hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to get the win. Even though Jacqueline Buckley didn't take much damage in this fight, he definitely lost the fight. So congratulations to Logan Storley. So moving on to the co-main event of the evening. One of Bellator's brightest rising prospects and stars, AJ McKee, super active. He fought three times in like 2016, three times in 2017 or four times in 2017, three to he fights like three times a year, if not four times a year since he started fighting. He's only 23 years old and he's already now, I believe, 11 and 0 with this win over Justin Lawrence, who was one of the first fighters he even said in the post fight interview. He said, you know, a lot of people thought I was kind of beating cans. Well, this is what I look like when I'm fighting a guy on my level. And he still came out here and looked really good. Justin Lawrence only loses to the best um, featherweights in Bellator. Some of his losses are to the better guys with really, you know, that are really experienced and so AJ McKee showed that he can beat somebody that only loses to the best guys in Bellator so we'll see how AJ McKee does but he's still very young in his game and got a lot of potential and promise congratulations to AJ McKee remaining undefeated against Justin Lawrence in the co-main event of Bellator 197 next moving to the main event this was really interesting because Michael Chandler looked like he might have rolled his ankle in the very beginning of the fight and we saw when that's how he lost his title. I mean, I don't know if it's because he rolled his ankle when he lost his title, but he had that ankle injury. And we could just like, oh, wow, we didn't really get to see the fight between Michael Chandler and Brent Primus because Michael Chandler suffered, suffered that ankle injury so early in the fight. So it was like, oh, man, you know, Brent Primus was like, yo, I kicked him there. That's how it got injured. But really, it was real questionable. Could have been how he stepped. It could be, a, you know, just a reoccurring rolling ankle. 
but he was able to shake it off in this fight. It didn't put him to like one leg like it did in the Michael Chandler fight. He was a, he was able to shake it off. It wasn't that big of a deal. It kind of helped that he got kicked in the balls right before he rolled his ankle. So even if the nut shot wasn't that bad, you can take your time and kind of walk off that that ankle. You know, you got five minutes to recover from a nut shot, so you can he, he could have been kind of taking his time and walking off that you know rolled ankle. He came back. He recovered from the shot. Um, and came in there and made quick work with Brandon Gertz. I believe he won via submission in the first round. So Michael Chandler, you know, he was. This was supposed to be a title fight. His rematch. He's already fought Goyde Yamauchi. Now he's fought Brandon Gertz on the way back to getting his belt. We'll see what happens. But with that being said, it looks like we're looking next at Michael Chandler versus Brent Primus. Um, Michael Chandler, though, he showed, yo, if this guy's not ready to fight, I'm ready to get back in there. If he's not ready to fight, I'm ready to get back in there. And that's what Michael Chandler um, is known. He, that's why he's one of the fan favorites in Bellator. One of the best lightweights in the world on his way back to getting his Bellator title, which should be the next fight. I'm sure it will between Michael Chandler and Brent Primus. With that being said, these, this was the main card recap of Bellator 197 that took place tonight. Tomorrow, of course, as I said in the beginning of the video, going to be another great night of fights. UFC Gaethje versus Poirier. Let the full-time family know what you think in the comments. I'm out. And as always, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video. I'm out. This is number one bullshit.